All right, so this is part two, right? So if you ain't check out part one, I need you to stop watching this video and go back to my page and click part one, okay? So basically what I got going on here is the two feminine energies, right? The privileged lady, the main female, and somebody having a hard time making a decision, okay? Or just literally just refusing to make one, all right? But let's see, tell me some more about this. Whew. Lord have mercy, y'all. What y'all got going on over here in these entanglements, son? Let me tell you, I may need to do a part three around this mug. Hold on, hold on. We're going to try to get this in, though. Come on, my spirit team. Show up and show out. Tell us more about this. What else do we need to know? Somebody's having a hard time making a decision here with this, though. This is crazy. Mm-hmm. Y'all, look at this. The world card and the star card. All right, so basically... What I'm saying is this may be a goal that you want to achieve, right? But that's what the decision is. It's like, hmm, what do I do? This main female, I love this person. I'm going to pull the um, tarot on there. They're part of my overall goal. Like what I want to reach, that milestone I want to reach, whether it's marriage, whatever, that legacy. Okay, the power couple energy is what I'm pulling in. And you may bring your person here a lot of um, positive energy. You make them feel hopeful is what I'm saying. You make them dream. You make them feel like anything is possible is what I'm just hearing right now. Wow. No, so tell me about this main female here. It's like the decision ain't that goddamn hard, though. That's what I just heard. The other person just is real stable is what I'm hearing. They're just stable. They got their shit together. I'm not saying that you don't got your shit together. I'm definitely saying here that you you have what it takes to be a power couple um, as well. But an injustice has been done for the most part with a justice card in a reverse position. Okay. A decision hasn't been made for you one that's not just or fair or whatever it's just almost as if you're sitting in limbo when it's like wait i am you know i'm your person we got the strong bond we connect whatever however it goes but yeah mm -hmm. you're still waiting still waiting mm -hmm. um you may be ready to throw in a towel too with that seven of pentacles like i'm not seeing no effort from this ain't nothing paying off with this mm -hmm. So you've been thinking about it. High Priest is in an upright position. You've definitely been thinking about it. You may be terrible, a terrible reader. You may be intuitive in some kind of way. Right, but you really, you really just focusing on here. How, how can you achieve the things that you want to achieve here in your life if you're this main female? Now, when it comes down to this privileged woman, what I'm seeing is somebody is working on closing out that cycle for the most part with the Eight of Pentacles coming out next to the Hermit. Okay, so with that, that's what is happening. Your person here if you are the feminine aspect of my collective, is working on withdrawing that energy from this privileged lady, okay? Whew, I'm going to do a part three because we need to break down this message for that, y'all. So stay tuned. Peace.